I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to create a box and whisker plot. Here is a question from previous test paper. The question here is a random survey of people at a popular store indicated their numbers of visit to the in the month as follows. 4521754421562551328337 so that's the kind of data which we have got so the number of visits to a particular store in a month is given as these numbers we need to plot or analyze this particular data and we'll actually plot a box and whisker diagram with this now whenever you are given numbers it's a good idea to first count them and see how many numbers you have so in this particular case we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so we are do dealing with a set which has 20 numbers in on the whole right that's the first thing second thing which you need to do is to arrange them in a particular order right so let's try to arrange them in increasing order now so one idea is look for the numbers so you know how many ones and then go for twos and threes like that you could do the other way is to go in a sequence and keep on marking the numbers which you have already covered now in this particular case what I will do is I'll kind of make a rough rough uh, uh, numbers line and then we'll do a final one so what we have is number four so I'll go in a sequence left to right so when I have four I know lowest is one and highest is 15 so I'll keep four somewhere here so I've taken care of the first one which is four for me then five okay after four no problems two before four I know three could come so two one is before two seven somewhere here five again so we write this five here let me write here for the time being four next four and then we have two okay two fifteen let's put it away six before seven okay two okay five five again one three so we have three in between two eight three so we have two eight three and then seven okay once you have placed the numbers you should count them once again that's kind of a tally right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so all 20 numbers have been taken care of correct so we have got all 20 numbers so now let's begin by finding the the median or the second quartile right so we'll find uh, median median is also called second quartile right q2 median is the middle value since we have 20 numbers these numbers are even correct so that means we have two numbers in the middle we have to add them divide by 2 got it so the center numbers looking into them will be 10 and 11 right so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 do you see that these two numbers so if you see the numbers before them there were nine and here let me count them one two three four five six seven eight nine so these two numbers are such that we have nine before them and nine after them do you get the idea so the median which is the central value will be four plus four divided by two and that clearly is 8 divided by 2 as 4 right now let's talk about the quartiles the first quartile q1 is the middle value of the first half now first half has got these nine numbers right or I should say 
let me draw a line here in between what we really got is is kind of middle of this so strictly speaking these are these 10 numbers not 9 you get an idea right so so basically the lower half because this median is supposed to be in between these two right so so let me draw another line here just to indicate what I'm trying to say so this divides that's the central line so how many numbers do we have now 10 which is also even okay so fifth and sixth numbers will give us the the first quartile right so let's count one two three four five and six so these are the numbers fortunately for us both are same okay so we do two plus two divide by two which is four divided by two as two and let's now find the third quartile so we are looking for numbers now which are from here till the end middle value so that is the upper half and we are looking for the center value of upper half right so this is the center value of upper half let's write mid of upper half okay now so what do we have here so one two three four five and six we can go reverse one two three four five and six so it is between these two this time okay that's good let's find the average value of these so what we have in this case is two numbers five and six we'll add them divide by two midway is 5.5 .5. so the third quartile is 5.5 .5. This amount of data which we have got helps us to make the box. Right, so let's make the box now. And then we'll discuss that box later. So we are actually working to make a box and whisker plot. Now here, what is Q1? Q1 is 2. So this point represents Q1, which is 2. Q3 is the other end of the box which is 5.5 .5. q2 is the mid value the median which is 4 in our case 4 happens to be closer to 5.5 .5. so I'll draw a line which is slightly on the right side not right, really in the center right so we get q2 as 4 so that becomes the box now how do I get the lower and or rather the lowest and the highest data points from this particular data now the idea is to find the interquartile range so what we need to do now is to find how many numbers or what is the range so interquartile range this is what we'll find so we'll write down interquartile range for us is equals to q3 take away q1 difference between these two values 5.5 .5 take away 2 so we have 3.5 as the interquartile range okay so that gives us the interquartile range we know 1 is the lowest 15 is the highest but we are not sure whether we have any outliers or not you get an idea so you could have drawn a whisker here showing 2 and a whisker here showing 15 and 15 will be like far away it seems to be an outlier but how to define an outlier that is the next exercise right so we are trying to find out how to find outlier so outliers could be on either side is that okay so on the left side which is less than q1 we find the outlier by using the formula that it should be 1.5 times interquartile range less beyond that right so 1.5 times interquartile range is within our limits everything which is beyond 1.5 times interquartile range from the boundaries is outliers right so this is lower bound we can say lower bound or lowest datum let's call 
will be equal to Q1 take away 1.5 times interquartile range you get an idea right so that is the value right this value will give us the whisker on the left side okay let's calculate this value for us q1 is 2 right so it is 2 minus 1.5 times interquartile range is 3.5 let's see what do we get okay so let's calculate this value so we have 2 minus 1.5 times 3.5 in decimals minus 3.25 so it is minus 3.25 so so every number here in our range is within that so in our case the lowest is 1 so in our case the lowest bound is 1 let's put 1 here how about the the maximum value you can have here upper datum highest datum we call it so we'll write now highest datum that is q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range okay so that is equal to for us q3 is 5.5 plus 1.5 times 3.5 so let's calculate this one now so it is 5.5 plus 1.5 times 3.5 in decimals it is 10.75 so it is 10.75 right so so that is what it is that means the number 15 is an outlier right so number 15 is an outlier for us 10.75 all of the numbers are within within the box or within our our range right so that is how we could actually analyze the data and make a box and whisker plot from the same so what we got here is is one outlier and all these numbers as shown here the upper bound for us is the highest value which is within our which is 8 right so here this number is 8 and uh, this is how we put it now if I ask you a question that let's take a number which is 6 in which quartile will number 6 will lie now 6 is something in between 2 and 5.5 right so 6 will lie in which quartile that is the question interquartile range here represents Q2 as such so 6 lies in q2 however if i take a number which is 7 okay this one in that case 7 is beyond the right side or interquartile range right end 7 is kind of here so 7 is in q3 do you see that and any number which is less than 1 I'm less than 2 in our case which is 1 will lie in Q1 so 1 will be in Q1 so that is how you could actually associate the data with the quartiles right I hope with this video you understand few terms which we use to make box and whisker plots you also understand how to analyze the data defined the outliers this is probably most important I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that this helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn. Thank you and all the best.